What's going on guys? Ruri back with another review. So, I've not been about for a little while, but today we're going to take a look at a device that was sent for the purposes of this review. Today we're going to take a look at Smokes Nord Kit. It's a cool little device. Let's get down, we'll go through the details. Let's check it out. Alright guys, this is the packaging that your Nord Kit is going to come in. It's not really much to show. Usual barcodes, QR codes, and a few details on the back. So, if I grab over the Nord device, very nice, very, very sleek. And it's very straightforward. You're going to get two coils in your box. If I just pop the pot out, like so, here's your pot. As you can see, it's quite a large capacity. And you know, these coils are removable. I'm not going to pull this one out. Uh, but what's in this at the moment is the 1.4 mouth to lung coil. This is just a regular coil. Your 0.6 direct to lung coil that comes with is going to be mesh, not regular. Uh, so your flavour on that is going to be much, much better. But obviously, it's designed for a direct to lung as opposed to a mouth to lung. Now, your fill up, if you can see this just here, this little rubber plug. So you just grab that with your fingernail, pop it forward, and there's your hole to fill. Mm -hmm. So, if I close that back up, when it comes to putting this into the device and using the device, there's not that much to it. When you put the device in, provided that there's a coil in it, that white light will come on for a second. Now, five clicks on and five clicks off. Right, and if you want to see your battery level, press twice and it will show you. Now, green is going to be between 70 and 100%. If it lights up orange, you're anywhere between 30 and 70%. And if it lights up red, it's below 30% and you need to charge it. And to be honest guys, that's all there really is to show. Uh, now something I didn't mention, this is a 1100 ma battery. Uh, so it's got relatively decent life on it. Um, <clears throat> but like I say, there's not much to go over with these little pod systems. So let's get back up top. Uh, we'll have a chat through, I'll give you my pros and cons, and a final thought. Alright. Alright guys, back up top with the Smoke Nord Kit. So, what do we think, and what details have I got for you? That pod I mentioned uh, down below, it's quite a large capacity, that pod, it's 3mm. Now, I don't know if that 3mm is with the mouth to lung or the direct to lung coil because the two of them are slightly different diameters. Obviously the direct to lung is a slightly wider coil. I would imagine that 3mm is recorded with the direct to lung coil. So your mouth to lung you may be getting a little bit more, but for what it is it's not really going to matter. The 1100 mAh battery on this, I found the battery life to be quite good. Uh, you know, I get a whole day out at, at work out of it. Um, and really it's it's never died during the day. I've always made it home to be able to pick up another device before it goes. Um, the use of the mesh in the direct to lung coils is just going to make the flavour so so much better uh, and it's going to make it probably one of the best tasting uh, pod devices that's on the market at the moment. Um, as far as pros and cons go, the pros again mesh coils, 3 milliliter. Uh, it's actually it's a really good draw out of this. Um, the other device I was using for a long time was the Aspire Breeze. The Aspire Breeze as a direct to lung is actually really good. When you try and use it as a mouth to lung, there's too much airflow. I found with this, the draw on this is like just nice. It's maybe a little bit too much air, but you can live with it. Uh, with the direct to lung, plenty of airflow, exactly what you need. Lovely, great flavour. Um, the other thing I'll say about it is the build quality. I don't know if you can see 
it looks nice for a start, but the main thing is in the hand this thing feels amazing, feels solid. I, I wouldn't want to drop it, but I also wouldn't worry too much if I did drop it. Um, as far as the cons go, like I say the mouth one isn't ideal, um, but it's not going to kill this device for you. The main thing for me, and it's me personally, it's probably not going to bother anybody else, is that button to fire. Not having a draw activated uh, system, it's not, it's not the end of the world, but it would make life so much easier, especially when you're at work or something like that. You know, you get dirty hands, you just want to pick it up, take a vape, and away you go. Um, but overall, guys, you know, I'd rate this a really good device. Smoker are always making pretty good stuff, and they always make it look really good. So overall, guys, I'd probably give this 8 out of 10. If you want to pick one up, you'll find them at just about any vape store now. They're very, very popular, and this has been out for a little while. I'm just a little behind. Starting to get back into things, so uh, yeah, more reviews to come guys. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe down below. You'll find my Instagram in the description. And uh, yeah, have a good day guys. Thanks.